what is up guys do not mind the hair but today's video we are going to be lowering the rears on my car i already lowered the fronts they're on tn uh lowering springs the rears are not lowered yet i decided to just see what it looks like just to oem with the the uh lowering springs in the front um i do have it's weird on one side i have like a two finger length the other side i have like a three i'm planning on hoping for them to drop out of one my fronts were damn they're at four and now they're only at one length uh, i also think it's probably because my um struts are going out which i probably need to change i do know that i need to change my axles both of them are slightly leaking i checked that at my job at my job we have lifts so i checked that so we might be changing my axles in the future they're not bad it's just barely leaking just a little bit of grease but still can't be too safe and sorry to check it out so uh yeah give me a couple minutes i'm waiting for actually uh i bought a gauge pillar with two gauges uh for those of you who know that i am going to be boosting my car uh for right now though i am going to be using the afr gauge the airflow ratio because i am going to be i am on flex fuel so i'm on e85 and i'm on uh, well i have three maps <clears throat> i have e what's it e50 e70 and then e85 and then i also have my 91 pump gas um tune so i haven't been able to put oh i haven't ordered my afr gauge but now i found one uh, somebody was actually selling on facebook market they gave me a good ass deal so shout out to him he also sells a whole bunch of evo and lancer parts so if you guys are interested in getting them feel free to go hit him up i'll put his um facebook market page and you guys can go order whatever you guys want but we're gonna be hitting my boy danny shop here goes mufflers i'll put his link in the description to all his social media badass eg that he has he has two i believe he has two egs one's built and boosted we're going to be showing you guys his car when we get to the shop follow him on instagram and if you guys need any work and you guys are in the fresno 509 area definitely hit him up and help you guys out and get you guys sorted tell him matt sent you other than that i'll be seeing you guys soon all right guys i'm back and uh, i'm excited i haven't opened this up yet Ratio. I believe it goes. Yeah, I believe it goes like this. <clears throat> so we got the fuel AM fuel ratio, and then we have the the I believe this is the glow shift boost gauge. Is that? This is the AFR wires. It is the AFR wires? Should be easy to hook that up. This is the boost gauge, and I believe this is the O2 sensor. It's fried, but we're going to be switching it soon. So what we did is the O2 sensor. Uh, we ran it through where the cabin filter would go. So we took off these bolts right here. O2 sensor. It's right underneath this mat. You pull this mat back. I'll show you when I get to the shop because I still got to put the the wide band sensor on. But yeah, we ran it under there. All we gotta do is fix this, which we will do when we get to the shop. Uh, we ran the wiring through the back of this side panel all the way through. We took off the top, or we took off the other quarter panel on the side, ran it through the back of the airbag ran it through the side of the fuse you can see we ran it through the side of the fuse i am going to fix this up and make a little slit so that way you can't really tell ran it through the back of the airbag ran it through here and now we're going to do tuck fitment all the way top to where we get to the gauge right, so i don't know if you guys can tell right there right where i have my fingers there's supposed to be a 15 fuse there check that out so we ended up going to autozone and getting a, a double fuse extender so we added the 15 under here. And 
this is gonna be you're not gonna need these unless you're gonna be tuning through the uh, evo scan software so this black wire is gonna be your ground this red wire is gonna be your power so i plan on plugging it to my radio fuse that way anytime i shut off the car it shuts off it doesn't kill my battery these are wired for when i add my boost gauges oil pressure all that good stuff which is going to be soon and this top is just going to be where you're going to plug onto your uh air flow ratio gauge so let's get to wiring so now that the, we got the wiring in the fuse is where the 15 would go uh now we're just going to start doing cable management running this wire through and throwing the pot on so we're currently set and wired through so i fixed all the wiring over here still gotta add the o2 sensor when i get to the shop tomorrow um, for the wideband sensor, so that's already all the wiring is already set. I ran them all through behind this Came through. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna finish up some touches right now, but there's that I wired them all the way through I added um, the Positive uh, To the 10 fuse for my radio so it automatically shuts off when I want it to shut off or when I shut off the car So it doesn't run the battery uh both lines from the o2 sensor from that side to this side runs all the way up both wires are wired them through they're tucked tucked them through here and now they're up here so now we're going to start the car not start it but test start it and boom they're set so now just to add on to this is we're going to put on the gauge pillar and we're all set Fucking wows! Yeah! Huh? He's at home. He was gonna be here, but.